Welcome back to the channel. It is the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McLeod. Now I'm going to play for you a little something here, and then I'm going to chime in on it because it just needs to be chimed in on. Now recently, Brad has become active again on his YouTube channel, posting videos proving the weights are real. And in fact, I talked to Brad on the phone a couple of weeks ago with his friend or videographer, and we had initially planned for me at the you know first week of September to fly down to Carlsbad to work out the 24 hour, I believe it's Super Sport, the gym that he works out with, the notorious gym where he does all these lifts and gets called out about the fake weights. And I was gonna come down similar to all my other fake weight and call out videos and doing an in-person, seeing if the weights are real, seeing if Brad can pull off all the different lifts he's accomplished over this last year of the accused fake weights now as you can see kenny ko is back at it again this time with no one other than brad castleberry mr fake weights himself now at this point in the game people if you don't know who this guy is this is brad castleberry the guy who's notoriously known for using fake weights in the fitness industry now at this point it's not even disputable so I, i'm kind of wondering why would he even set up a meetup to meet with him he says that he in this video he met he called his uh his trainer or his coach brad's coach or whatever you know i don't know how you need a coach for fake weights but for some odd reason he set up this meetup now unfortunately the plane tickets were a little bit too high you know what i'm saying to go out there and do that but what i'm trying to figure out is what world are we living in where we watch a guy put on eight plates on each side of the bench press and then rep that shit out for you know well over 10 15 reps he's just pumping this stuff like crazy and then i, I mean I, I i can't figure it out why would he even try to say oh he's gonna prove listen he's not gonna lift the same thing he's lifting in those videos let's just get that one thing straight right here right now it's not going to look anything like these fake weight videos. We've all seen the videos. Crazy amounts of weights on both sides of the bar. He's benching this crap. Like, like a fracking superhero, right? Now you think he's going to get down there. Brad's going to pull out these same fake weights that he bought off that fake weight website that I exposed. Now go back to my Brad Castleberry video. Because there's one thing I want to say here. Kitty KO says... No one's made as many Brad Castleberry videos as me. Um, I beg to differ. It's just that for some reason mine haven't hit the YouTube algorithm like his has, which means, you know, it blew his channel up. Mine's still on the struggle for some strange odd reason. You know, I wonder why. Um, yeah. But I've made a ton of Brad Castleberry videos. They haven't hit yet. But the bottom line is, every single video I've, I've made just further exposes the truth i mean even without my videos or his videos like i said the first time brad castleberry posted one of those fake weight videos what did everybody say that has to be fake if you see a dog flying through the clouds with a cape on his back next to a guy named superman <laughs> it has to be fake because people cannot fly neither can dogs so when you see a guy in the gym lifting these fake enormous amount of weight it has to be fake no call out needed but and you know unfortunately we live in the era of youtube so we're gonna make these videos to get some exposure because that's what it's all about exposing the frauds in the fitness industry because at the bottom at the end of the day i'll say this there are still those few people out there those few chosen few with the brain cells of a of a gnat fly who believe these guys are one super fucking strong two these guys these uh six pack ab guys with these physiques like these david lades and these brandon hardings and uh all these other guys you know what i'm saying what's the guy that lifts weight with his father and they're both ridiculously buff you can tell his dad is an old gear user and now his son is just as big but like 20 years old at 20 years old bro you have a decent physique but you don't look like these guys do you don't look like um D dylan mckenna this guy here he fucking, uh, you know, like I said, I watched him in a, in a fucking, um, in a Jeff, not a Jeff Side video. Jeff Side's a fake natty, of course. We all know that. I watched him in a, uh, he was in a video with another one, with David Laid. And I remember, he looked like a, the ordinary Joe you go out and see on the street, right? They just worked out in the gym. And about six months later, this guy came in looking like he just got hit by a bunch of gamma rays. So, so I mean, come on, people. 
this fitness industry is fake that's why we make these call out videos you know for one exposure for two for those few out there who have the brain cells of a gnat fly <laughs> but that's all i want to say about this you guys you know go ahead and chime in down below all the haters go ahead and hate i'm looking forward to it but if you haven't already done so don't forget to like comment and subscribe 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 i'm subliminally in your mind so until next time get to the gym do work and muscle up my adversaries cry like hoes fully eradicate my foes my lyrics explode on contact came in you hoes who else but mama's only son fuck the phony niggas up the bar say my name watch bitches come now fire when